Good morning gel pressers and welcome to my video today so recently I was doing a video series for our reels on Instagram on different things you can use in your kitchen and um, just for fun texture and just to have a little extra bit of fun with your gel press plate and while I was looking at my kitchen I came across this little guy if you're not familiar with what this is it's actually a cookie press I think it's called cookie stamp I think is what some people actually call it this one happens to be the death star of course um, and it cuts your cookie but then when you press the trigger on the back you can kind of see that it then imprints it and I thought how fun would that be to add into some gel press prints and of course being the creative person I am I hopped on Amazon and then also <laughs> bought these and I also bought these so let's hop over to my creative side of my desk and let's have some fun and see what we can do with these cookie stamps all right guys let's get started playing so of course i'm on my 8x10 gel press and playing with some amsterdam acrylics for this first part and i wanted to show you that you can make something great even if you just do something really simple so i just have a little red and a little pink and this cute little heart rose i'm just pressing it down into it and then pressing the plunger down and um, every now and then you'll see me stamp off screen and that's just to get any residual paint off just to kind of make sure i keep my image nice and crispy this time I chose just to go straight so really you could see how cute the white is just popping through it and making a really simple but pretty background and so let's do something a little bit different so what I didn't realize when I bought these particular uh, stamps cookie stamps is they didn't have the plunger so they're kind of a little bit different they're almost like plastic stamps but they come with the cookie cutter shape so you can cut your cookie cut cookie shape out and then use this to make the impression so they're a little bit different but they're still cool so I'm using this set that I have that is kind of a bunch of different kinds of leaves and I'm using a bunch of different kinds of greens three different color greens to be exact to make a kind of leafy collage using three different kinds of leaf patterns and I'm just stamping it like you would a normal stamp so I've added my paint to a smaller gel press plate and then just stamping it and kind of allowing them to naturally overlap and I want to make sure that these are completely dry before I move on to my next section so I'm just hitting it with my little, this is the Tim Holtz, I think it's called a blower. And I'm just kind of using that to speed the drying process along. Um, if I had a hair dryer with a cool setting, that would have been my go-to choice, but I didn't have it in my studio at this moment. And so I've gone in and just added a really light kind of lime chartreuse kind of color to the back. And that will just allow my greens to pop. And I'm just playing with some copy paper like I am this entire time. But I just think it's fun and you can kind of almost DIY your own pattern paper using these kinds of things. All right, let's try one more, and this is the one that I'm sure a lot of people were wondering about from the beginning. So, of course, I couldn't do this video without doing the Death Star cookie maker, cookie stamp that I had. I'm in love with this. I think it is so fun. Um, I am hitting it with my heat gun just a little bit. Now, a few cautionary tales with our ear heat gun. You can use it to speed the drying process. It's not preferable, but like I said, my hair dryer wasn't in here for some reason. What you want to do is just make sure you are keeping it moving at all times and you're keeping it about 10 to 15 inches away from your project. And to get some extra oomph from this, uh, I'm actually using a silver paint from Pebio. It's my favorite. It's their Studio Acrylics. It's my favorite metallic. I have it in like six colors. And it's really going to make our Death Star kind of have that metallic kind of feel to it once we get done. It made me super happy when I figured this out, and I really need to find some. I used to have more Star Wars ones, so I'm going to have to find them. And it's kind of fun. I had some little green bits left on there, so it kind of adds to that kind of grungy, outdoorsy, outdoorsy space kind of theme. So let's get a little bit fancier. 
And this time I'm going to be using some different browns of alcohol ink because hello, it is the end of August and fall is a coming. You can't really tell from the temperatures here in Arkansas because it's still been in like the 80s and 90s. So I'm just applying just these four colors of brown and just moving them around my plate with my Tim Holtz blower. And then I'm going in with a pitch black just to add a couple little places of depth. And if you're ever doing this and it dries out too fast, just I keep a spray bottle of just rubbing alcohol on my desk and it just kind of reactivate those alcohol inks and allows them to move around the plate a little bit better. And this was kind of the I guess stamp thing that kind of looked the most like fall to me. So I'm just doing what you would normally do with your alcohol ink and just pressing it into it and keeping with that metallic theme. I'm actually going in with this beautiful copper color and it's going to fill in any gaps that are there with that metallic color. And it's just going to make for a really, really cool, um, really deep, very rich uh, alcohol ink print. Um, I love using alcohol inks. They're super great because they allow you to put them in places where normally you wouldn't be able to, like your Bible or your art journal. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. There's so much different colors and textures. Also for fun, I just tried this technique in my Bible, which you usually can't use alcohol inks in, and it just turned out super fun with some great metallics, and I can't wait to finish that later. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you look at the world differently and find texture everywhere. Thanks so much, and don't forget to like and subscribe.